Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Every week, I challenge myself to make something fun and creative. Something I am passionate about. I want to use the skills and knowledge I have today to reconnect with my younger self. Watch me explore different ideas and figure out new ways to DIY in an affordable manner. From recreating iconic scenes for my favorite characters, to making dioramas for my figures, to making cool functional gadgets out of everyday material, etc. Help me grow my channel by subscribing, giving this video a like, and commenting down below. That would mean a lot to me, and would encourage me to DIY even more fun stuff. Last week, I customized my worthy Captain America figure. I've managed to make the figure look more like Chris Evans in the movie. Check that video out. Besides the figure, I've also made myself a Captain America shield out of cardboard. I had a few small hiccups while making it. But the end result was pretty good for a cardboard prop. I think I can fool people at certain angles. However, when you have a closer look. You will see that half the shield looks a bit disappointing. That was due to the spray paint I used. The red was cracking, and the silver paint wasn't dried completely, and it peeled when I touched it. In Avengers Endgame. Thanos was using his weapon against Cap. And shockingly. He was able to break the shield apart with his blade. Leaving Cap with half a shield on his arm. So that gave me an idea. Since half my shield looks a bit disappointing. I can simply break that half off and recreate Captain America's iconic broken shield instead. So. Can I make it? First I am going to draw the crack line onto the shield. I tried to copy the crack as closely to the movie as possible. This is perfect. I get to cut out the bad side of the shield. Just like in real life. I need to embrace the positive side of life and not get affected by the negative side. Is it me? Or is it funny to see myself cutting the vibranium shield with a dollar store cutting knife, haha. <laughs> Oof. This part was actually quite nerve wracking. Because if I mess this up, then the entire shield is ruined. Sometimes I wish there's an undo button in real life. If I do mess up. I am. Not. Going to remake this shield again. There were too many tears shed. Hahaha. <laughs> However, my feelings changed as soon as the shield starts breaking apart. It went from nerve wracking to excitement. Here's the broken shield. Is it me or does the shield looks even more solid now? I am actually very satisfied with this. I can't believe it worked. I was half expecting it to fall apart. I can end the video here. But I want to make it look more believable. First, I got to fix the cuts. I am going to paint over the edges to hide any cardboard from showing. This should give it more of a metallic feel. This shield is also supposed to look battle damaged. Right now it looks a bit too clean. So I am going to add some grit and dirt onto it. Making it look more grudgy. It's very subtle, I don't want to overdo it, because it will be difficult to make it look cleaner again. The key is to stand back once a while and look at it from a different angle. Sometimes when you are too focused on one thing, you lose the bigger picture. Alright here's the shield all dirtied up. It looks pretty good. I think I captured the feel of the battle. I really like the crack on the shield. The subtle colors on it make it look and feel less like a piece of cardboard and more like actual metal. I think I can fool people if I display it properly. That's a good idea. Let me add a display base for the shield. I am going to make it out of styrofoam. I got this big piece of styrofoam that holds the shield perfectly. First I am going to cut this piece smaller. I don't need it to be this long. I just need the front half of it. I can use the rest of it to decorate the base. Now at this point, I have made a few rocky terrain out of styrofoam for my Marvel figures. So I think I am getting the hang of this. I just have to make sure there's no 90 degree angles. It has to look as organic as possible for it to look believable. So I am just going to cut 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 here and there. And cut 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 some more. After some infinite cuts later. I decided to add some pieces back on. To give it more dimension. The goal is to disguise it, so you can't tell it used to be a regular piece of styrofoam. Let's do a quick test before I move on. Okay. Going well so far. 
I ended up adding even more chunks of rocks. Because I love 3D things. Alright here's the base all glued together. Now it looks more like a miniature version of a rocky environment. Nice. Alright. Time to paint this. Gotta protect my desk first. First I am going to apply a base coat of brown. There are lots of tiny little pores on styrofoam. They are hard to paint over with a regular brush. It's better to use a smaller brush to fill in those holes. There are so many holes. Took me a while to fill them up. Okay. Here it is mostly painted. Next, I am going to add some shading here and there, so it doesn't look too much like. Next, gotta add some highlights to make it look more realistic. This part is also tricky. Sometimes the highlights look right. Other times it feels like I'm overdoing it. It's a weird feeling. But just like earlier. It's all about the big picture. Don't lose focus on the end result, and it'll turn out fine. Or will it? Now I am doubting myself. Oh well. No undo button for me. Ta-da. Here it is all painted. Phew. That turned out fine. Looks pretty rocky to me. It does look a little overdone. But I think once I put the shield on it, these details will get overpowered and become unnoticeable. Alright here it goes. Wow. Look at that. This looks awesome. The base isn't distracting at all. The shield and the base complement each other very nicely. Here's Cap from last week's video. That is the real Captain America. Haha. <laughs> okay don't get distracted. Let me try and display the broken pieces too. Whoa. That looks good too. What do you think? Give this a like and support my channel by subscribing. I really like that I can display this in various ways. With or without the extra pieces. The shield can turn one way or the other. I also love the little details I added onto the crack. Oh man. This doesn't look like it's cardboard and styrofoam at all. Let me see where I can display the shield. It looks alright here. Oh it looks pretty neat on grass. The base looks quite believable. It's nice to see that it works outdoor, but I can't leave it outdoor. It's gonna melt in the rain haha. Ha, ha. What about indoor? Let me find a spot for it indoor. Maybe right here? Maybe in front of the fireplace? Maybe in this corner over here? So many possibilities. Do you know what I haven't tried? I haven't tried wearing the broken shield. Can I still have it on my arm, even though it's broken? Yes I can. It looks cooler broken in my opinion. Wow. This project ended up very satisfying. I did not enjoy the process when I first made the shield. It seemed like a lot of work was required, but I wasn't getting the right result. However, my opinion has changed. I take that back. All those hiccups were worth it. Sometimes you just have to experience a little dip before appreciating the rise. Now that I've broken one shield, maybe, just maybe I can break another. Thank you for watching today's video. Stay tuned for more Marvel and DIY videos. I can make it, so can you.